Hey, you could turn the grass along your curb into something beautiful, something useful, and have it done for free, possibly. Yeah, we're talking about curb cut rain gardens. The free installation is for those of you in the Plaster Creek watershed. That's in southeast Grand Rapids, and it's through the Plaster Creek stewards. They've been working to get pollution out of the water. So I'm going to start with something you may not know. We know water from our home, so when you flush the toilet or if it goes down the drain, that goes to the wastewater treatment plant. But stormwater, when it rains, does not. Uh, that all goes onto the street and then runs off into the storm sewer, which goes into our creeks, rivers, and eventually into Lake Michigan. So all of those things that you put into your yard to keep it looking green, your pet waste, motor oil from your car and lawnmower, that goes in too. And Grand Rapids doesn't look like it used to 100 years ago. It's changed a lot, a lot more pavement and development. And because of that, that's a lot more pollution ending up in the watershed, which is just, uh, the watershed is just the land that drains off into Plaster Creek when we're talking about that particular watershed. So Plaster Creek stewards have been working with students at Calvin University to clean it up by planting these curb cut rain gardens. Here's a look at a project they just did right here at this corner of Gidding Street. In a curb cut rain garden, captures storm water that's flowing down the street. We first, yeah, have an excavator kind of dig a little basin. This offers water a different place to soak into the ground. Um, and then we plant it full of plants that will soak it all up. Each of them captures at least 250 cubic feet of stormwater runoff for every big rainstorm that we get in the summer. Um, so that's a lot of volume of water that we're capturing. So one of the things that surprises some people about these gardens is that they're all full of Michigan native plants. So that means that every plant in here belongs in Michigan, it's at home in Michigan, it grows wild in Michigan, which means that they're really good at um, surviving the harsh weather that we get, like this crazy drought. If you look around at our native gardens, they're still happy as can be, unlike the lawns next to them <laughs> that need a lot more water and attention. Yeah, big difference there, mm -hmm. be low maintenance. Also, notice right here, a little they're, indention there. They're called curb cut because they literally cut the curb hmm. once these gardens are established so that water all goes into the garden and soil acts as a natural filter. Hmm. Concrete obviously does not. Right, right. Um, so the stewards have installed more than 130 of these and they have the money from the grant to do about hmm. a dozen or so more. Okay. No, it's really fascinating and to see these young people uh, take up this effort to make a difference in their community. Yeah, Super and because cool. of the grant, they're getting paid while they're going through their programs at nice. Calvin to do this as well. So you'll probably start to notice more of these. That is fantastic. Hope so anyway, right?